All right, Shadow. I have no idea what's what down inside of this deal. Also, I can't find ladybugs for the life of me, man. I <gasps> what? Secret, secret. What is up the world? That is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things back playing grounded the game thank you so much for coming to hang out with me what a glorious day we've discovered let's place this guy maybe over here like so we have to rebuild our water collector here what do we need a stem four squoes and fiber hold on a second here i got a stem down over here like so i need four woven fiber five quartzite and four spider silk can i remember all of the things Four fiber. Two, three, four. Four spider silk. One, two, three, four. Parts can go inside of there. And five quartzite. That is a lot of quartzite. Well, it's important. We need water. And uh, during the last update, it bugged these guys out. So now we should be good to go with that guy right there. And then maybe we can move this over here in a second. What do you even want? Why? Just stop bugging me. I guess that... Wait, what? What was that? I guess... Oh, it was the uh, drying rack. I guess that's kind of your job. You're a bug. You're here to bug me a little bit. So, ladies and gentlemen, in the last episode, some amazing stuff and things. Uh, a sexually attractive montage using the stuff and things song, which you like so much. Also, this guy, bam, the tier two hammer, which has a weird, like, waxy plug on the back, which looks a little bit weird and strange and i'm not sure how i feel about it get out of my airspace hey but it's okay gonna gonna i got this i got this i did it i did it i got the net uh but that's okay uh, here we got another net hold on everybody we're trying to make a video i'm trying to do you guys i'm trying to talk everybody's gonna think you know what i mean that i can't even complete a thought because i'm constantly trying to fight these gnats give me that Gnat, gnat. All right, so uh, the hammer with the weird butt plug. Okay, so it's got a weird waxy butt plug, but it doesn't really matter because what we need this for is over inside of here. That's right. This guy right here did opened up, baby, and now mint me mint chunks. Oh, yeah. Now, I feel like we might not be hitting it. I think there's a little bit of a buggy weirdness when you come in here, so I'm ducking. There we go. And then it's kind of hard to get in here, but you can do it. You can, there we go, get inside. All right, so we're inside of here, inside the Mintia, which we found probably all the way back in the first episode. Uh, yeah. And now we can access these mint chunks. Now, are they researchable? They're not, but wait, how do we get that? Hold on. There it is, the mint mallet. So we don't need to research it. It is a tier three. I think it's like a combination. It's a it's a hammer and a weapon. Giant hammer crafted from a chunk of ice caps breath mints deals patented mouth town fresh damage on hit. So super, super cool. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and harvest up a couple of these guys, but we're gonna leave a couple. There's a couple of stories around the campfire that if you leave the mints, that more mints might respawn. Uh, and then we gotta try to get out of here as well, which is done in this way, like that. All right, so we got the mint stuff and things. What else are we gonna need in order to craft up this unbelievable and amazing mint mallet? Nine spider silk and flower petals. So, looks like it's gonna be a bit of a journey. I don't have any flower petals on me, but I have a sneaking suspicion. Can you see them from here? That I know where they are. So I'm not exactly sure all of the places on the map where you can get flower petals, but I do know that we can get flower petals over here. So I figured we head over to the roses here and see what we can see. Now this is a bit of a dangerous area. We might have to be uh, a little bit cautious. Can we walk through this? The old Nido Tunnel. Uh, we have to be a little bit cautious. There are some orb weavers over here. There are also tons of gnats that drop. I think it's not like aphid honeydew. It's actually called nectar, I do believe. It's kind of weird. There's a huge amount of them over here. I'll show you. And I do. I think they have a nest up inside of that guy. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, yeah. There's one right there. Orb weaver. Uh, I think they have a nest up inside of there. You can kind of see right up. Oh, no, it's not. You kind of can't see it then, maybe. This is the nectar. There. See that? That's not aphid honeydew. It's nectar. Let's go ahead and pick that up and take a look real quick. 
It looks exactly like aphid honeydew. Sweet and edible crafting resource. Rot uh, restores a small amount of hunger. I hear I'm stopping. Oh my god. Dude, I just changed my pants. Ah, uh, stupid and dumb. Do two orb weavers over there. Let's just go ahead and eat that guy. And there's our flower petals. So there's flower petals all over the place around here. We'll put that guy away and gather these up. I want to take you over to where we can see those gnats, though. And I feel like, like once we're, since we're over here gathering, we're going to need eight for the mint mallet. But we might as well grab as many as we can. Uh, and it looks like maybe eight will be <laughs> will be the number that we get. There's eight right there. Maybe nine. Uh, all right. So if we come over here, I wonder if it's like... I'm not seeing them. I wonder if it's bugged out. The last time I came over here, there were like literally hundreds of the gnats. Maybe they only come out at certain times of day? Well, I feel like that might be all the flower petals that we, ha that we have to offer over here. That is uh, more than enough uh, for what we need to do. We have 13 now. They kind of all go up inside of there. Now, I don't think there's a way that I can get up there right now. I would have to, like, build something in order to get over into that area. Uh, once you get up on the wall here, you can't really, I don't believe, jump from, like, there to there. You, you can't go up. Uh, and I don't think there's a stairway over there either. Is there? There's, maybe there's a doorway. No, no doorway. All right, so uh, with our flower petals gathered, it's now time to go back to the base to make our unbelievable and amazing good. mint mallet. I'm sorry, buddy. I need you for my armor. I'm, I'm almost blown away. I didn't know we could just like straight kite this guy. Dude, now he's going over that way. This guy doesn't know what he's gonna do. He's super freaked. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god, these guys are really hard to kill. No, no, no. Okay, don't don't do it. Don't do it. Just use your bow. Just use your bow. He's done it. Dude, the ladybugs are so difficult to kill. That's excellent, man. What did we get for that? Four shells. Okay, we didn't get a head. Uh, now we got to pick up a million zillion arrows around here. But that is very nice. Quite opportunistic hunter. Uh, hunting. I think that's a really, really good uh, little deal there. Getting another one of those guys. Because I want to make the ladybug armor. But they're very, very hard to kill. All right. So let's grab uh, just our arrows. And then we have our flower petals. Let's head back to base. Let's pop over to the research station here to start with. And uh, just research this guy real fast to see what we can learn from it. Teach me your secrets, oh amazing flower petal. Lure trap and 20 research points. Interesting. Escape never works. Let's pop inside of here. Craft traps. The lure trap lures insects with an enticing aroma. Hmm. I wonder what kind of insects it lures if it just lures them all. I wonder if you can use that as kind of like a tank. Can I plop one down really close to a ladybug and then it'll just sit there lured and... What are you guys doing? Are you over here bothering me? I hope not. All right, so let's pop inside of here. Let's go ahead and talk about that mint mallet. We needed some spider silk in order to make it. And then some of these guys. No, I didn't put them there inside of here like so. Right here. Uh, that guy. He's done it. Bam! Dude, there's no earth-shattering kaboom. There should be an amazing earth-shattering kaboom. Uh, oh, it's in there. It's in there. Let's go like that and like that. Let's take this guy and squirt it over inside of here. We have a lot of other stuff. And let's make sure that we're getting a little bit organized here. You can go in there. You can go down there. Mint stuff and things back over here. What else we got going on? Might fuzz inside of there. Maybe flower petals. That's kind of all of our bugs. Maybe flower petals go inside of there. And that looks pretty organized to me. All right, sweet. Let's check this guy out, baby. Oh, man. Oh, you know what we really should look at? Let's go ahead and grab that guy and that guy and then look in our inventory. So there's our damage right there. Kind of like you see this point on this item on the ant arm guards. Kind of right there. Maybe 75% the way of the of the durability there. And then this guy. Boom! Huge damage. Giant hammer craft from the chunks of his eye. Oh, yeah. We read that. All right. So that looks very, very cool. We can squirt that guy down over there. This is our B armor, too. We just have the one piece. And I'm feeling like maybe for the rest of this episode... I don't know. There's a couple things I want to get done. In the last episode... You know what? Uh, the last episode was a little bit shorter, too, because um, I forgot when I, when I do my recordings, I look at how much time I have in my videos, and I forgot I was going to do a time lapse. So that time lapse, which was like 25 minutes, got compressed way, way down. So I thought I had w way more footage than I actually did. So that's why it was a little bit shorter. But in this one, maybe we go, I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll definitely have a little bit longer. Or a normal size, normal length episode. 
All right, there's no more resources inside of there. So, 1925, um, the bee armor might be a thing. But before we do that, what I was thinking we might do, decor armor dummies. Clay, sprigs, and woven fiber. Let's go ahead and grab some woven fiber. Let's grab some, oh, I got two sprigs only. And we got a decent amount of clay, but not a ton either of that. So maybe we're gonna grab some more sprigs here, then sleep. Then we'll put some, or do some uh, cosmetic stuff and things to the base. Ah, good morning. Let's go ahead and eat one of those guys. Is this guy working again? It's Feels no good, crime, team. But it's better than nothing. We'll drink that guy and then back up inside of here. I feel like over here is a really good spot for these guys. So we'll craft decor armor dummy. I feel like we want a couple of them. Let's rotate this around. I can't tell where the front is. I think this is the front here. So why don't we may uh, uh, maybe over here would be a good spot actually. Let's go ahead and rotate this around. Let's squirt one of these guys down right over there. Let's make another one right over here. Let's just get two. All right, like so and like so. Sweet. So now let's pop over here to our acorn armor. We got this guy. Wait, I just need to take you. Right click. There we go. Acorn armor. We have bee armor. We have that. And then maybe we don't use anything from over inside of there. Let's take a look and see. What do we need in order to repair? Uh, what do we need to repair these guys? Repair. Please don't be armor glue. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it looks like we got some sprigs we could put away. Some of this, some of that. We got a couple of saps we can get out so we have some more inventory space. Let's pop inside of here and take a look at health and snacks, armor glue. Where would that even be? Materials? Not inside of here. Workbench tools, armor glue. Might fuzz, sap, and woven fiber. All right, hold on. Let's get some might fuzz. Let's get some sap. Let's get some woven fiber. Let's go ahead and make some armor glue. I can't make it. Is that, do I not have space in my inventory? Crap on a cracker. Uh, let's go ahead. Maybe we'll just put these guys inside of here for right now like that. Now we will go ahead and craft up. It won't do it. I'm so confused. Oh, it needs to be in the workbench strip. All right, there we go. Okay. Let's make three of these guys like that. Then now do we have enough space? We can actually just grab that and that and that. All right, we are good to go. I wonder if it's one each. I feel like it probably isn't. Repair three. Oh yeah, it is one each actually. Repair, nice, one of those and repair this guy as well. Sweet, all right, so there's all of our armor. We have armor glue now. Uh, where exactly are we gonna put our armor glue? I'm not exactly sure. We'll have to figure it out later on. I think we used it all up anyway. All right, so over here, uh, let's deposit that gear inside of there. Look at that thing, man. It looks super cool. Then over in this guy, we can deposit this gate, that deal, and that deal. All right. I'm pretty psyched about that. All right. Next order of business. Our axe needs a little bit of repairing as well. So repair that guy to quartzite. Grab two of those guys and then throw a repair down on that. Feels good, team. All right. Next order of business. If we're going to go down into the tunnels, we're going to need uh, another torch, I do believe. So I'm going to put my clay away right there. And then let's go ahead and craft up another torch deal. Tools and a torch. Two sprigs and three dried grass. All right. Two of those guys. Three of those guys. And we'll craft up another torch. You guys, we are making some progress here, man. The busy box is real. Uh, all right. These guys can go back inside of here like that. And one of the things I have a little bit of a problem with, I feel like I have too much stuff in my inventory. I'm going to eat that guy. And then everything else I kind of want to keep. And I don't dare to store food here. I wonder if you can store acorn bits. I don't know. And you can't dry any of this stuff, right? Because it doesn't spoil anyway. Yeah, we can't dry the acorn bits. We have the gnat jerky over inside of there. All right, let's drink a little that bit more water. Fresh. All right, so there's something else I wanted to put up uh, aesthetically in the base here really quickly. I got to see where that is. Decor. And is it... A, oh, you know what? Weapon wall mount. This is the guy right here. It takes a huge amount of clay. Dude, we can make three. I mean, I think we are. I think we're going to use all of our clay up to make a few weapon wall mounts over here. So what we're going to do inside of there, let's go ahead and start. Uh, what do you guys think? Maybe right back here behind that. That looks like a good spot for one. Maybe we squirt one over there. Maybe we squirt one right over here like this. And then why not another one in a cool spot like right over here? We can build that guy. We can build these guys out like that and like this. Now we have a couple of older weapons that we haven't really been using. Let's grab our ant club. Let's grab this guy. Don't ever use that. Uh, and let's grab maybe our spear. Those are some cool weapons I think we need to display. Let's take and deposit that guy right there. Nice. You guys, I really like that. That's very, very cool. Up over here, maybe the dagger. 
Ooh, sexually attractive. And this guy right here. Look at that, man. Very, very neat. A little bit of decor stuff and things. All right, so next order of business. We were talking about that bee armor. Now, we have seven... We have seven of those guys. I don't think we're going to encounter too much resistance down there inside of the ant mound. I want to go look for that bee armor. So we're going to head over to the ant mound and uh, see if we can find the other pieces of it down inside of there. Oh, hello, ant mound. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering where we are, somebody was asking me this the other day in our streams, and uh, it's right there. The bee mound is very, very close to the original research area. So down inside of here we go. And they had a weird thing in one of the updates where when you went to the caves, it got this kind of black. But then it got like pitch, pitch black. I think it was a bug. Yeah, it doesn't look All like right, that's a shadows. thing. All right, so we're Watch still gonna use there. our torches. It looks like most of the quartzite is gone. We're not getting attacked because of our ant armor. And also, I did want to remind you guys, don't forget, come check us out on twitch.tv slash slipgator. There's a link in the down there. Click the link, hit the follow button. Uh, Monday through Friday from five to nine when we're doing stuff and things, come and visit us. You know what? Watch this. Bam! Get wrecked! Dude, that, that thing's fire. amazing. You know, bugs and spiders. That's what I'm talking about. All right, but yeah, click the link. Come check us our, our streams out. We're there Monday through Friday from 5 to 9. We do all sorts of different stuff. Right now, we've been doing a lot of 7 days. We streamed a bunch of Grounded as well. Uh, maybe we'll get over here. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned I might hit that ant and start a little bit of an ant battle war. Ooh, do you hear that? What the crap is that? Oh, baby! Dude, they're all losing their mind. Over what? What is this? I can't see. Spoiled meat. They're just losing their minds over that spoiled meat. So, I think this is actually where we found the first bee armor piece. Hey there, buddy. I hear. I think hey it's there, hard buddy. to hear, but I think I hear resources. Like research? I don't think we can get down over inside of that area over there. Let's pop back over here. And then there was another left turn, if I remember correctly. Oh, dude, more quartzite. I feel like we might as well. Damn it all to hell. I even waited for you, stupid dumb ant. I can't even believe you. Why did All you right, even? Shadows. All right, what you got? It wasn't my fault. Big he got in my ant. way. I didn't mean to. Uh, that goes up. This, ooh, uh, we might be lost. Oh, water and research. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Oh. What we got going on over here? All right, another tunnel. This is getting good. Another giant area full of stuff and things. What is this right here? Rotten bee shin guards. That was it. That's another piece of the bee armor. All right, here's the location. Let's look at our map. That's about where we were. Uh, but here's the shin guards. Now, is there anything else over in this room? Oh, dude, there's a hole down there. Whoa, you guys, you know we have to go down there, right? You know we have to go down there. I kind of want to explore more, though, before we do that. Dude, there's so much quartzite down here. I always kind of felt like there wasn't a lot. There is a massive, massive amount. Dude, research right there. Okay, that hole behind... Over there. What do we got up over in this area right here? Oh, there's a little guy. Rotten bee face mask. That's it. We got all three of the pieces. Super cool. Three pieces of the bee armor. I wonder if it makes us fly. What is the effect you even get from it? Does it say? Sprint distance. Okay, so we get higher sprint distance for it. But we've got to come back over this way. I hope I'm retracing my steps correctly. Yeah, we've got to go down in the hole, man. Oh, dude, I'm so glad we saw this too. Dude, I can't, I can't. It's so hard to go down in the hole because then I won't be able to come back up to check out these unexplored areas. Thank God we built multiple torches too. Okay, that seems to go up. I'm not interested in that. You know what this might be? The other side of the original laboratory where Burgle is. Remember when you go through that laboratory, there are some like windows that are broken that you can walk through. And then there's a drop off over there that takes you down into like an Soldier ant in. area. Look out. Why? I'm fine. I have the armor on, dumb, dummy. Stop being a stupid and dumb. Okay, wait, wait. We just went in a circle. Oh, I might be lost now. We went in a circle. I want to be able to find my way back to the hole. I think this is how we get back to the hole. Now, unfortunately, in this one video, I'm not going to be able to show you every piece of the bee armor. The other one, though, is a little bit earlier uh, in the dungeon, I think. All right, we are in, man. What we got over here? More bones. 
This looks almost exactly... Wait a second here. Spoiled meat. I think we've been down inside of here before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Because this is the way back out, I think. So I think we've actually already been down inside of this area. This guy goes I up. Any trouble, Ant. Okay, I kind of don't want to go up. I want to stay down deeper. I want to kind of explore a little bit trouble, more down Ant. here. We don't want any trouble, Ant. Think I've made my way back to the entrance? I'm pretty sure this is going to take us out. Uh, I did some exploring down inside of there. I do believe that this ant mound goes all the way over to the tree. But I kept getting turned around. I couldn't quite find my way. But if you think about it, that's pretty insane, right? What is this? Abandoned ant hill? I bet you these match or these link up or something like that. Because that tree's all the way over here. So that's, pr I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. I have no idea, to be honest with you. It, it could. It might not. Uh, but we found all the bee armor. So I want to check this out. I want to head back to base and put all this bee armor on and see kind of what it does for our sprint abilities. All right. Here we go. Let's pop over inside of here. Let's take that guy and retrieve it. Very, very nice. Now into our inventory. Wow. Look at that, man. It doesn't really look like bee armor to me. It looks kind of just like, I don't even know, something. So, sprint distance is what it's supposed to be, right? Let's pop inside of here again. Side effects. It doesn't have, like, a, a an overall bonus, a set bonus. So, if we click on this guy, remember, we get the set bonus humant, which makes it so the soldier ants don't attack us. But with the bee armor, it doesn't look like there's any set effect. I was really hoping it had, like, a feather fall effect or something like that. So, I don't know how to test this. I guess what we could do... Let's let's start. Let's do this. Let's start right here. Let's put the ant armor on. And let's try to go like in a set kind of area. We're going to have to turn right and left a little bit. But let's just sprint down over through here. Dude, our sprint distance even with this on is like crazy. Let's try to make a beeline-ish over to this guy and see how far we can make it. Oh, 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 okay. A little bit of a hiccup there. No big whoop. All right, so this is where we lost our stamina right here. Now, we can just switch. Back we go. And now we're just going to try to, as uh, straighterly as we can, walk back over to the base and see how close to the stairway we can get, right? Because that's where we ran out of stamina, or that's where we started. Was that the stairway? So it was a little bit off. Look at that. Look how much stamina we have. Bam! Enough stamina to run for quite a, a, a little bit of an extra distance there. Yeah, definitely more. I'm not really sure how valuable that is. <laughs> it just takes a second for you to stop and get your stamina back. Uh, the da uh, Right over here, the defense on that. The defense is a little bit better. You get a little bit higher defense than you do with the ant armor. So that's pretty cool. All right, sweet. So what we're going to do, I want to pop over here. I'm going to take... Oh, I don't think I can. I got, ain't got enough room. We got anything we can put away? Oh, yeah. Quartzite for sure. Let's go ahead and squirt this quartzite into our inventory. We got some balls that go inside of there. Mandibles, parts. Whoa. Did it just move an entire stack? Did you see that? Let's put this quartzite away like that. All right. So I feel like what we're going to do is probably switch our armors here. Let's retrieve that guy and then deposit those on there. And then if we're not building or going anting... Really, the acorn armor is the best armor for us. We can put the ant armor inside of there like that. Look at that. Our two armor stands looking quite sexually attractive. Let's just pop over inside of here and put our gas mask away. And then go inside of here and put the acorn armor on. Also, I feel like the armor's uh, textures are changing every once in a while. I feel like they've been different for me. I've noticed them change. I don't know if it's a bug or what, but that's pretty cool, man. All right, mint mallet down and armor. Got it all, you guys. So let's talk about some of the other stuff that we could build in here. Workbench tools, no. Materials, gear, health, and snacks. Where are the, uh, well, there's grub stuff. This gives you plus max stamina, but the ladybug armor, I think is the most powerful armor in the game. It gives you higher blocking strength. I kind of want to get into this, but it requires heads and shells and berry leather. Okay, so <clears throat> that's five shells. That's nine shells. That's 11 shells and a head. I have six shells. So if we wanted to do this, we're definitely going to need to kill some more 
What do we got going on here? There we go. We're definitely gonna have to kill some more ladybugs. And I don't think there's like a way to find them on the map. I don't think that there are just like a one spot where there are ladybugs. They're kind of all over the place. Let's check this guy out. I'm just gonna put a lure trap down. I wonder, I'm gonna, should we place it near a spider or just place it here? It's kind of expensive because it takes those flower petals. I, maybe we'll just stick it over here. I wonder what the, like, the area of effect is of this guy. Let's just put it down over there. Okay. So now there's stuff and things coming off of it. Oh, yeah. He's definitely into it. Oh, they're definitely into it. You know what we haven't even tried out yet? KI! KI! Oh, my God. The mallet is where it's at. Dude, all the ants. Oh, you think you got what it takes? Dude, I got the most powerful weapon in the game. Dude, I really wish there was experience in this game. Because we could, you can just use this to get all the experience. So it definitely works on ants. <laughs> I don't see any ladybugs, though. You know, I think I just figured something out. Kind of minor, but check this out. Watch my stamina bar in the lower left-hand corner. Watch the third hit. Is it the same each time? I think it looks like it costs more stamina per hit. So if you just go like this... It might be that it's adding up. No, I think it's more. Watch this. If I if I go like this, yeah. three hits, and then three hits again. Hit. That's six hits. Seven hits. Eight. Eight total hits, and I'm out of stamina, right? Look at that, man. If you just click it one, like one time, you can almost harvest indefinitely. Dude, I'm a genius. I've been looking for ladybugs for a while. And I haven't found any. I feel like it's time to test out this mint mallet. Let's go team! Oh baby, the hits! Oh man! Dude, that was fairly simple. Pretty straightforward. Dude. Orb Weavers beware! Slipcanner's got the mint mallet now! You guys, I found a thing. Dude, I found a thing! Okay, my inventory's full. Uh, I think this is over where they're like bombardiers sometimes. This is where we are on the map right there. All right, Shadow. I have no idea what's what down inside of this deal. Also, I can't find ladybugs for the life of me, man. I <gasps> what? Secret, secret! Whoa, you're kidding me, man! We found a field station down here? Dude, the ant tunnel is... Oh, no. I don't have ant armor on. I got acorn armor on. Oh! Quartzite blocking our way. Okay, Take this, this could be bad. Oh, there's larvae everywhere. Holy crap. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. Uh, we're in a fight. We're in a fight right now. Get your stamina back. Get your stamina back. Oh, 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 I can't see. Okay, okay, kiting, kiting. Just trying to get two hits and then move back. Okay. Two hits is the way to go with this guy. Dude, we are kiting like a freaking boss. Okay, I hit the ground, whatever. <laughs> oh, 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 low on stamina, low on stamina. Dude, I wish I could see. I could see a little bit. Dude, this game needs epic fight music, man. Okay. We're doing really good. We can actually maybe start heading back this way. You guys coming back? I wonder if the one-hit things were... Ah! Hold on. Drink. Okay. Dead. Is that the last one? No, there's more. There's another one over here. Oh, dude. I feel like there's even more. Dude, what are these? Oh, quartzite. Okay, sorry. I know it was super dark. I think we'll be okay now. Uh, maybe we slurp another slurp. Eh, we'll just let it sit. Okay, maybe we won't be okay now. Oh, 
Dude, there's so many. It's no women crime, but it's Oh, baby, the hits. You think you got what it takes behind you? Okay, that guy's gone. Dude, so many. I'll, I guess I'll try to get the. No, my inventory's full. I can't gather any of the things up. Take that, vampires. Hey. You know, and spiders and stuff. Dude, look at this place, man. What have we found? What is this? I think I saw another larva over here. Oh, yeah, there's a whole batch load of them. Dude, one shot, one kill. Everybody is dead, Dave. Hear him more. All right, shadows. Okay. What you got now? We don't need any of their larva bits, I don't think. You know what we can do though? Let's go ahead and trash a couple of these stacks. I can always get more. I was just opportunistically gathering up some stuff and things over there. What do we get from these guys again? Acid glands, a, a bunch of cool stuff. I don't know which is more important, the thistles or these, but I think these are probably more important because the thistles you can get any time. Dude, where the hell are we? Oh, okay, there's mites over here. All right, so it went from over here to over this area right there. That seems like to be all, all that was in there. Interesting. All right, you guys. Uh, Where's my house at? This direction. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to be it for today, man. We got the mint mallet going. We made some armor stand stuff and things, weapon stand stuff and things. Uh, did some really cool exploring and found some stuff in the game uh, that I haven't found yet. And that's, that's the thing about Grounded that surprises me. You know what I mean? Remember, we finished the story in like less than an hour, but we've been playing this for quite a while, and I keep finding like new things. Not only new things, but new things I never knew about. Just like totally like stuff I had no idea was a thing. I'm gonna do a little bandage deal. Yeah, thanks for coming to hang out, and you guys are unbelievable and amazing. Make sure if you like the video, don't forget to show your support. Hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. <laughs> and may the stuff and things be with you! Trouble, hey, I don't want any trouble, Ant.